So now we're gonna go over surgical hand prep. The main thing is that I have my hat and my mask on and potentially my shoe covers, I don't in this video, okay? But that I don't have any jewelry on. No necklaces, no rings, usually no earrings, but I do in this video. No watch, watches or anything like that because I'm getting ready to go into a surgical, a sterile environment, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna to wanna to do is I'm gonna make sure I have my scrub brush in place. I'm gonna put it here, I'm gonna open it and put it within reach, just like that. Then I'm gonna turn the water on, but not only am I gonna turn the water on, I'm gonna make sure it has a good temperature. It needs to be warm. Cold water is not doing you any good because you wanna get the warm water to help loosen up the grime and bacteria and wash it away, okay? So I'm gonna make sure that my water gets warm and not to the point where it scalds my hands. Currently, if I am gonna wet my hands, I'm gonna wet my hands real quick because I really don't wanna try to fight and scrub over dry skin. But some people will take the scrub brush and the nail pick all together. That's what comes in your scrub brush pack. Some people just take the nail pick. So I'm just gonna take the nail pick to start because that's what I'm gonna start with, okay? I'm gonna get under each one of my nails. All right, you gotta come closer. And make sure I get all that grime out. And I will rinse that away, that's just gross. I'll do it with each side. And I'm gonna throw this away. I'm not gonna throw it in the sink so it can go down and cause a big drain, okay? I'm gonna throw it away in the trash can that's usually located near the scrub sink, all right? Next, I'm going to get my scrub brush. And if you need to re-wet your hands because they dried a little bit, that's fine, okay? Also, please notice that I have on short sleeves. You can't do a surgical prep, hand prep with long sleeves on. You won't see anybody in the OR wearing long sleeves for this reason, okay? I'm going to wet the sponge, wet it. I'm gonna lather it up till I feel good about it, okay? Then I'm gonna work on my nail tips again and the very end of my fingertips right there. I'm gonna put them together like this and I'm gonna do 10 strokes. One, two, three, four, back and forward and back is one stroke. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, you're supposed to do each hand one at a time, okay? You're not supposed to do them together. So I'm gonna focus on washing this entire hand and arm and right above my upper, I mean above my elbow, and then I'm gonna rinse it and move to the next arm, okay? So now, I'm going to get rid of this side, I'm going to flatten my hand out, and now I'm gonna wash the anterior and posterior and the lateral sides of my hand, okay? Same concept, and if this is dry, wet it again. No big deal, all right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Flip it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm gonna do the sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Same right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm going to make sure that I keep my arms right here always usually angled up slightly or at a 90 degree angle because as we wash we don't want things re-rolling back down from our contaminated area and over our surgical scrub we just performed okay now I'm going to do each individual finger I'm going to treat each finger like it has four sides and I'm going to do it ten times remember forward and back is one stroke okay so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven eight nine ten can I get this up? No. Okay. <laughs> one two three four five six seven eight nine ten. Now I'm going to speed this up and do it on my other fingers but same thing I treat each finger like it's a box and I clean each side. All right, and now I'm gonna focus on my forearm. And I have little arms, so depending on the size of your forearm, you break it up into two to three segments. And I'm gonna treat my forearm like a box too, like it's a square, okay? 
So I'll start in this segment, segment one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I'm going to come back and do right here. It's okay to wet this again. If it dries out, just wet it, no big deal. So now I'm about to focus on my elbow into my upper arm, okay? I'm gonna keep my arms up because again, I don't wanna put my arms down and this roll back down and recontaminate where I just scrubbed, okay? I'm going to rinse this hand. Slow and steady wins the race. So you start with your fingertips together and you just rinse it slowly through. You don't want to go backwards because that's not the goal. We're not trying to re send suds back the other way. We're going to send it straight through like this, always keeping my hand kind of at a 90 degree angle with my arm and upward so that way it doesn't roll back down. If you don't get it all, great. Do it again. No big deal. Okay, now I'm going to do the exact same thing to the other side. I'm going to put this over here, and I'm going to start with this hand, okay? So it bothers me when it's kind of sudsy, so I rinse it off. Okay, and my hand at this point is kind of dry, so I'm going to re-wet it, okay? Same thing, put my fingertips and my fingernails together so I can get that pretty good. Ten, slide, um, ten scrubs, one um, forward and backwards is one. Now I'm going to flatten my hand out. I'm going to treat it like it has a, um, it's a square as well. One side, two side, three side, four side. Same thing, 10 and 10. Do each individual finger. Same thing, treat it like it's got four sides. I'm going to speed up on this one. Same thing with my forearm. I'm going to sit here. I'm going to break it down a segment. I'll have some suds going down my left arm that I just cleaned. That's okay because at the end this is clean. That hand's already been clean. And I'll just re-rinse it. Alright, I am done with this. Throw it away. This is going to bother me so I'm going to re-rinse this one first. Remember, always going forward. Now I'm going to do the same with this one. If you do it slow and steady, it usually gets it all, but if not, just make sure you go back there again, no big deal.
all right? And then I'm gonna turn that off, all right? And now I'm gonna proceed to dry my hands appropriately and putting on my sterile PPE. Mm -hmm. Okay, I just finished surgically prepping my hands, okay, for my surgical procedure. I'm going to come in. This is still my sterile field right here, right? I'm going to grab this towel, and yes, I'm going to shake it out because if I don't, it's not going to shake itself out for me. So I start, you're going to start by drying your fingertips and each side of your finger um, once. The goal is to use different areas of the towel as you get it wet, right? So I'm going to start here. I'm going to pat. I'm never going to rub. Don't rub, okay? I'm going to pat. I'm gonna pat this, then I'm gonna shift down, pat this side of my arm, and see how I'm slowly moving down the towel, okay? Now I'm gonna switch this over to this side. I'm gonna do the same thing, just patting each finger. I'm trying to my best to use this different side or a different area of my towel, should I say? And just patting all the way down. This is trash. Now I'm ready to put on my sterile gown, okay? So I'm gonna grab my sterile gown, see the neckline right here? The neckline should always go towards you, all right? So the, ne the neckline goes towards you, then usually your hands go to each side, the right and left side, and that will be your arms, okay? So the neckline is towards me, facing towards me. I'm putting my gown on. Yeah, I'll shake it out a little bit, because if I don't, it's not gonna do it. I'm gonna put my arms through here, and here. And so I'm still sterile, this is still sterile. Usually somebody comes and helps and ties me up at this point, but you can still do this part. So I open my sterile gloves, just like so. A lot of people like to do that flip glove technique. I don't do it, it doesn't work for me. So I pinch the inside of the right glove that I want to put on my right hand. I put the cuff in there. I hold it right there. I get my fingers kind of work out of the cuff so I'm not fighting with it. And then I pull it down the, to the best of my ability that I can. I don't pull it till it's all the way perfect. It's not going to be. So it's going to look like this. And then I'm going to use this hand, get it ready to rock and roll, and come back and adjust this hand. So I put my fingers in the little cusp right here for the left glove. Maybe. I take it just like so. I put my cusp right here. Again, I kind of cheat and work my fingers out. And then I start to pull this back and I adjust my glove. And now I don't like my cuff on my hand, so I pull it back like a lot of people will do. But now this hand is free to finish this hand, okay? Because remember, this was all sterile. And sometimes if you don't get your hands dried good enough or you dry, they're really, the gloves really like to stick to them. Point, somebody has come in and tied the back of my gown and tied the neck. You are to never do this yourself because you're contaminating. Technically, right now, your only sterile field is below your collarbones and above your waistline, okay? So notice I have a tab here. Read the tab. It tells you the assistant grasped here, so the assistant gets the blue. I keep the little baby string right here is what I like to call it, the baby tab, and I hand this off to the assistant. I twirl. Hold the tab and I pull this off and now the assistant could throw that tab away and I'm tying my sterile knot. And from here on out, my hands are gonna stay right here. Again, they have to stay above the waistline, below the collarbone, and this is a surgical area. And now I am ready for a sterile procedure, minus my shoe covers.